welcome to Incredible Universe and Other Animals with me, Phil. Now if it's your first time watching one of these videos, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. And in today's video we're going to have a look at a species of stick insect. And in particular the Pseudophasma vulvum. So, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the orange winged stick insect or Pseudophasma vulvum. And again, like pretty much every well, every animal, that's the important name, the scientific name, as there's many species that could go by the name orange winged, and quite a few that look very similar to the species in the same genus of Pseudophasma. But this one is the Fulvum. Now these are a medium-sized species of insect that originates from the Minca, Serrera, Nevada region of Colombia. And you get other Pseudophasma species kind of all across southern and central America. Now these particular ones, and like most pseudophasmas, they can fly. However, they do have wings. And as you may have guessed from me calling them orange-winged things, like their wings tend to be orange in colour. So the base colour of the things that you can see is kind of brown, mixtures of browns with some blacks and whites. The antennae are banded in black and white. The legs can be fairly red. Because they do use their camouflage as a way of obviously avoiding predation. But failing that, both sexes, the males and the females, can fly and they can fly pretty well. Um, and often when I'm servicing this species, I normally end up with one or two flying out of the tank and then have to uh, go and chase down. And stuff. So that gets me on my toes quite a bit. But normally they're like this. Here you can actually see a male and a female pair mating and you may be able to notice that the male, his wings just caught it on a, uh, a privet leaf there so it's actually holding it out nicely so you can see that coloration kind of yellow to orange in colour it can vary a bit uh, I find the females tend to be much deeper coloration on the wings and of course they can flash these Which can act as startle coloration, a sudden flash of colour, so if they are disturbed. But again, both sexes can fly pretty well for sick and sex. And so here, actually, I moved the leaf so that his wing could go into a more normal position so he doesn't damage it at all. And these guys, they lay plenty of eggs and are very easy to breed in captivity. And so here's a bit of a close up view so you can actually see they are fairly well patterned. On them, um, so some people do think they're a bit of a boring looking thing, but when you get closer, they are stunning. So to keep them in captivity is not difficult at all. Like all stick insects, the rule is the height of the tank needs to be three times the length of the stick insect or more. As so I've never less. <laughs> and then feed them on privet. They don't need spraying that often. They don't like being sprayed too much. So I only spray them roughly once a week and only ever on the leaves or side of the tank and never on the actual stick insect. And there you can see how they use their wings to escape and have to uh, get away from you if need be. They're not ones really for handling uh, so much. I don't tend to handle these guys. And that's something to take into consideration if ever thinking of getting this species is that they can fly. Uh, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Pseudophasma fulvum. Hope you agree with me. As with all uh, invertebrates, they are fantastic. Things are absolutely stunning. So they're not the classic kind of sick insect that most people recognize often and they do fly really well and stuff so it can actually sometimes be fairly annoying to look after sometimes whenever i open the tank to change their privet their food plant i end up with one or two or more flying around my flat and stuff, which i then have to go chasing around and stuff. but it keeps it interesting and, stuff, and they are fantastic species and i love keeping them so on that note, if you did uh, like this video please give it a thumbs up please do if you haven't yet please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications again almost at 100 subscribers and i want to reach that by the end of the year if possible and so every single subscriber means a hell of a lot to me and also leave some comments down below as well do you keep stick and sex if you do which species do you keep are you looking to get into stick and sex and if so what species are you looking at there's a whole host of species being bred in captivity nowadays Right from the basic ones, the Indian stick insect, which is highly underrated in my opinion. So probably the first stick insect, first exotic pet I ever kept. And, so, and they are fantastic 
in their own right, right up to the really exotic looking ones like Jungle Nymphs and these guys, the Fulvums, as well as things like the Peruvian Fern Sigma Sect with its bright colours. So there's a whole host, there's a Sigma Sect for everyone out there, in my opinion. So, till next Sunday, when I'll upload my next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.